Welcome back, everyone, to Halloween Haunts 365.com, the podcast. I'm Jared. And I'm Terry. This is our last full podcast episode till haunt season. We will be at Field of Screams Saturday. I can't wait. We do have a new show coming Wednesday. Check it out. It'll be out every Wednesday during haunt season. It's our weekend update. Here's the promo. All right, so make sure you check that out every Wednesday. It's just going to be an update of all the haunts in our area. We chose 25 haunts to go through. It's hours, times, prices, when applicable, special events. So, hey, we'll see what happens. Uh, next up, very important, stop what you're doing. Pull over the car because this is going to be a more YouTube-friendly episode anyway. Yes. But head over to HalloweenHaunts365.com. Very easy. HalloweenHaunts365.com. Down here, right here, I'm I'm showing it for you. So, fan voted a haunt of the year. Click that. It brings you to right here. All you have to do is type in your answer. There's no email. There's no bullshit. Just type in your email. Uh, don't type in your email. Type in your response. It can be any haunt in the country. Whatever one you want. So, that is fan voted haunt of the year. All right, so that's easy enough, right? I've made this easier than I've ever made it before. We had 4,000 votes last year, or just about. I want to hit 8,000 votes this year. Okay. Okay. Start so voting. Start voting now. <laughs> you could pause us and head on over there. All right, let me get the script up for this episode. That'll help. All right, so basically this is a rundown of where we're heading this season. It's going to be a YouTube-friendly video because we're going to play a lot of trailers. We're excited about this. September 9th, as stated below, we head to Mountville, Pennsylvania for Field of Screams. Let's hit it. It's been called America's number one haunted attraction. Today we head to the Field of Screams. 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 Be prepared to be scared. All right, Field of Screams, like you said, September 9th. Can't wait to spend the night there. Next up, new stop for us, September 16th, Lancaster, Pennsylvania, Jason's Woods. Jason's Woods, a new stop for us. Excited to see it. We have covered it on the website, but we're going personally this time around. Next up, this is iffy. This is if we could get things to work mm -hmm. out. September 17th, Jackson, New Jersey, Six Flags Fright Fest. Not a huge fan of amusement parks. No. Not haunts. Not they're, haunts. They're quick. They're fastly done. There's so much better out there for us, but The Conjuring. And saw, saw some licensed projects. I'm interested to see maybe if these work out, they add more and maybe contend with HHN. I'm sure they can't contend with the sets, but different ideas. Uh, there's no video for this. They have a little two second thing, but uh, check them out at uh, frightfest at sixflags.com. 
Um, next up, September 24th, Oster Park, New York, heading up north, Atlas Horseman. First time visit, cannot wait to see it. Here we go. Headless Horseman, excited to get up there finally. I am We've so been, excited. It's been on the bucket list. It has. Yeah. For a long time. All right, so that one is done. Next up, highly anticipated, September 29th, we are heading to Feasterville Trevos for Valley of Fear. Let's do it. Awesome haunt trailer, awesome haunt, awesome people. Make sure you buy your tickets now. Like I said, September 19th, Valley of Fear. Next on the board, the night after, September 30th, our always highly anticipated night, Scranton, Pennsylvania, Reaper's Revenge. Yeah! Yeah! <sighs> Not wait to get out there. That just psyched me up. I'm glad we're doing this episode. We're getting hyped for all these haunts. I cannot wait to go there. All right. Now, October 1st, we are heading to Wall Township to return to the Conover Killings. No video here. Check out the website, theconoverkillings.com. Um, maybe next year he'll have a video. I mean, yeah, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> might know a guy. Yeah, might, know, might, know, might know a guy. All right. So, now... October 6th, a new haunt, which shouldn't be, but it is. <laughs> Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, in Manioc, we are heading to Lincoln Mill Haunted House, barring any accidents.
All right, not sure why that cut off like that, but that's from their YouTube page, so who knows? Um, yeah, Lincoln Mill, can't wait to finally get there. I'm excited, finally get to see it. Next up, probably second or third most anticipated stop this year, just because we have a trip coming up that we're gonna have for you here. <laughs> um, there's no video, but there's a ton of stuff on their YouTube with behind the scenes and news rankings and everything. We are heading to Dickerson, Maryland for Markov's Haunted Forest, October 7th. Got the tickets, ready to go. You ready to go? I am ready to go. All I'm right. excited for all the new ones. So that's a new stop for us. We've never covered it before, so I'm excited to get there. Next up, October 8th, we are heading to Orfield, Pennsylvania for Lehigh Valley Screen Park. Let's hit it. Yep, so Lehigh Valley Screen Park. Very excited for that. Yes. Now, this one holds special meaning to me. It's always special when I can return here. And someone awesome may have made this video. <laughs> uh, October 13th, Friday the 13th. Ch -ch here it Choice. comes. <laughs> Mullica Hill, New Jersey. Night of Terror. For Friday the 13th, South Jersey Jason takes Night of Terror. Here we go. is such a cool video i know it's so awesome i was so scared but it was a cool video oh my god all right but that's night of terror we will be returning for jason takes night of terror so that's pretty pretty awesome excited about that our next stop is october 14th palmerton pennsylvania first time stop this video was eight years old i didn't want to use it on them but halls of horror our first time, we will be doing the blood package. She has no idea what that means, and I'm not telling her. I do. I just gotta make sure I gotta wear something old. Yeah, we gotta wear junky clothes. We're <laughs> not gonna go in costume that night. Costume. Costume. <laughs> we're definitely leaving the... <laughs> Work attire. We're, we're leaving the camera in the one for that one. We'll use the phone for that. Alright, but that's October 14th, Palmerton Halls of Horror. Next up, October 15th. Wharton, New Jersey, 13th hour. Uh, we haven't been there in a few years, yeah, so we it's been a while. definitely want to return. Let's see the video. Pretty cool video. Excited about that. Yes. Been a while. 
Now, this date might change because I'm working on something here. October 19th, it's a Thursday. We are heading to Passaic, New Jersey for Slasher Thursday at Brighton Asylum. Here's the video, and we'll get deeper into why it might work out because it's a Thursday. All right, one of the most outstanding haunt trailers I've ever seen is from Bright. That's their last one. I know they have a new one coming out. If it comes out before I put this up, I'll throw it in there. We might have to redo this whole video, because if some of that shit's copywritten, YouTube's going to kick it out. So then I'm going to have to cut <laughs> copyright-free songs into all of that. We'll see what happens. All right, this is a return I'm excited for. October 20th, Delina, Maryland, 301 Devil's Playground. Let's check out the video. Three One Devil's Playground. Can't wait to get back to that one. That I mean, was a fun time. It was a good night. It was a good night. All right. So the next night, October twenty first, the new new one, Monroe, New York, for Pure Terror Screen Park. We've covered this as a website, but yes. I haven't gone personally, so we're heading up. <laughs> All right, Pure Terror Screen Park. Looking forward to that one, too. <laughs> Been yeah. talking about getting up there for the longest time. Now! We saw the headline, the map. 
There's a HH365 down south. We are heading to New Orleans. That's right. We got three haunts lined up. Was going to be four, but Rise doesn't open till Friday. So, sorry, Rise. We're not going to be able to make it. But we got three, three haunts lined up, two bucket lists to cross off. I am so damn excited. One of the bucket lists, October 24th, New Orleans, Louisiana, the mortuary. Oh, yeah. so excited for that yep so that's the mortuary that takes place in a very old mortuary i think that's why i'm more excited for it october 25th we have a streak of seven straight haunts during this i'm excited october 25th new orleans louisiana new orleans nightmare formerly the house of shock but this place looks awesome wasn't a bucket list but it looks fantastic That Nosferatu look badass. It does. Uh, we have our tickets for that. We got a pre-sale deal. We only paid fifteen each to get in there. That's not bad. We got a. That when is it gets, really not bad. Yeah, they you buy them and then they send you promo codes to use when the actual tickets get closer. So it's a pretty cool idea. Yeah, we got in there for next to nothing. So that's fantastic. All right, next up, man. I think this is my number one anticipated haunt for the year. I think it is. October 26th, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, the 13th gate. Can not wait.
Now that is a fucking haunt trailer. Holy shit. That looks amazing. Like, I'm speechless. I can't wait. I cannot wait. Oh my god. Alright. October 27th, we return home. We're going to hit Columbus, New Jersey for Bloodshed Farms on a drive through No video. They have an old video, so I don't want to use it because it's one they were still Fear Fest, but still awesome time. Can't wait to see those guys out there. Uh, check them out. Bloodshed Farms. Next up, October 28th, Only Maryland. Feel the Screams, Maryland. All I'm saying is hmm. if you win the top 10 of you know USA, the USA today um I'm, I'm expectations are through the roof we'll see i think that's bad to have that high of an expectation i just want to say you need to take it down a notch i think i'm not taking anything down i have high expectations you're gonna be very disappointed this. you don't know that we've never heard anything about i it. know but I'm going still, in completely like... open-minded and I'm expecting to be blown away uh, the video is a little old. I wanted to warn that before he played it. Uh, do I not have the... Oh, no, I didn't do the video because it was that old. Uh, the oldest... They had it what, nine years ago. That's not fair to play. No. Everything a, changes a lot by then. have changed. All right. Next up, October 29th. Another new stop. Laurel, Maryland for Laurel's House of Horror. Here's the video. Fun little sneak peek. Can't wait to check that out. I've been hearing a lot about it. So it's time to see it for ourselves. Now another new stop. Like I said, guys, we're 50% new this year. I'm going to miss and some it. of the haunts that I want to go back to, but we had a plan. It's the last one. This is November 4th. Robbinsville, New Jersey. Oasis of Terror. Oasis Island, Island of Terror. Terror. Let's hit it. it. So that is the lit. Probably might not be the last because there's a few haunts. We might just trickle in on there too. We'll see. Oh my gosh. You, you never know. know. You can't you just never expect. know. You right. never know. Because this could all change from weather. The bright might not stay because it's a Thursday. I could be in California for all I know. Right. Well, the other thing is too. I think they go in another week. No. Or is that the last week? That's the last week. So there's well, Fill the Screams has uh, their blackout that night, and then they do the fun run, and that's usually the end of end of the season. End of season. And then we get Christmas haunts. But guys, that's our aim this year. Um, we'll be posting on Instagram that weekend. You know our stops, see where we end up. Who knows? Some things can change due to weather. But we got lucky last year. Um, yeah, we did get. We only changed one. And that was because we were exhausted from coming back from sale. Right. So this year's a little different. Flights. There's a run where we do seven in a row. I know. I can't wait. I don't think we've ever done that many in a row. I uh, think we've done four, but never seven. We'll see. But uh, guys, uh, it's going to be an epic haunt season. I'm working on us getting... As a team, close to 50. So, 
Let's see what happens, guys. Can't wait to see you guys out there. Let us know where you're at. We'll definitely we'll, we'll look like this. So come say hi. Um, we're very easygoing. We like meeting everyone that watches this. We appreciate you watching it. And take advantage of the Fan Voted Haunt of the Year. It's a great award. Last year's winner, I believe, was Reaper's Revenge, right? Yes. Okay. Yep. So Reaper's Revenge took it home. Bloodshed Farm took it home before that. So, guys, vote. Anyone can yes, win this across this country. country. We'll see you out in the field. We will not be in podcast form for the next nine weeks. I know. I love doing interviews, but it's it's hard getting everyone on the same page, especially when you travel for work. So to be able to take off from the interviews. But there are some key interviews that I want to do this season. But we'll get into that. And we have the off-season haunt reviews coming up. Guys, this is HalloweenHaunts365.com, the podcast. Where every day is haunt season. Goodbye. Bye. Night after night, will we survive? Night after night, are we dead in this cold? Oh, everything's new, everything breaks, everything will die here in this cold. Halloween haunts. Thank you.